this is a system that we started this year building on something that we've done previously and you know, partially worked out. So the situation that we got at the moment is that compost that you get in the shops typically is really bad quality. It's not really compost, it's ground up organic matter that's, you know, looks blackened, but it's not really compost. It's not broken down. It's not a living compost. You know, it's a good quality compost, a really complex thing full of humates and you know, all sorts of living organisms. The stuff that you get in the shops is awful. Uh, the only thing that you can do with it usually is pass it through a worm farm. That can make it better quality because at least you put some life into it and it actually breaks it down because it's worm food. You know, there's still loads of breaking down to be done in this stuff. Uh, so every year we buy compost, amend loads of stuff into it, make it fairly reasonable. At the end of the year, we put it into the raised beds so it wouldn't get wasted, but it's still, you know, we've got to start again next year with all the amendments and so on. So uh, we like closed loop systems. So this is an early stage version of this. Now this is just an experiment. We're gonna do a much bigger system if it works. What we've got on the top here are stacked worm farms in these crates. So at the moment we've got all sorts of materials that have been stacked up, but it's mostly wood chip and manure. Uh, this is just to keep some moisture in. These are bags of uh, leaves that we've been given and as things get broken down we'll add more leaves onto the top and you know the worms will go to work on it and make really nice worm castings you get amazing worm castings from leaves and as we water from the top which we haven't been doing much at the moment we're in the middle of a drought so in the middle of the piles there's enough moisture of the worms to be happy i've been checking it but we're not being as keen on watering as we normally would because we don't want to waste water any leachate that comes through the bottom of the trays in this case, ends up in that tray, and there's a little low spot in the center so it trickles through there and ends up in the bath. And the same goes with these. The holes are actually just inside this lip, so all of that goes down into the bath as well. And in the bottom here is where we've got our potting soil. And it's basically made from really good quality compost. Uh, some of those clay balls, clay pebbles of various types that we just accumulated over the years and some of them have been uh, you know crushed up to create particles of different sizes so we get really good drainage in it. I mean you can see, look at the fungal growth, the mycelium growth in it. It's exploding, it's amazing stuff. You can see just how dark it is. Um, it's had some biochar added, it's had some worm castings added and this has been done over a couple of years. Back in the spring when it was put in here I added some uh, duck manure, which is really nice, fairly balanced, not too hot manure. It's not like chicken manure. And it's been here maturing ever since. We've taken a year off doing things like bulk tomatoes and stuff for this year. So this is just really preparing, ready for next year when we've got hopefully more stuff under glass and we can go with this. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll take this particular mix and cut it 50-50 with a really nice quality compost. And because we're not buying it every year, we can afford to use you know, that budget on a few bags of really nice quality compost, some of our own worm castings, make a really nice, good quality soil, uh, use that for the summer. And at the end of that season, the stems, leaves, all the rest of it, and the root ball will go straight into the worm farm. Um, all the loose aggregate and stuff that comes off goes back into the bottom here and gets recharged and gets ready to go again. I mean, arguably, if we ended up with a really big um, imbalance in this soil because it's, you know, being used over and over, we could just dump the lot onto a raised bed or whatever. It won't make any matter mixed in with, you know, the, um, you know, the, the wider soil and start again. But I mean, that'd take a really long time if it ever happens. I and mean, we can always adjust things a little bit with, uh, you know, soil testing and stuff, but probably be as cheap just to start again. So, yeah, that's uh, what we're trying to do this year. And the other thing, um, we're trying to be as self-sufficient as possible for fertilizers because the same thing holds true as for potting soil and compost. You know, it's such poor quality that it's just, if you can make your own, you might as well. So yeah, we're going with um, a lot more working at our own fertilizers and this is a part of that wider system. So we haven't got to buy anything. We can make everything we need right here on the croft.